Welcome back to the channel. And look at there. I'm actually going to do a comparison of the two Frams. Well, the Extra Guard and the Tough Guard. The next one up in the line. Extra Guard is first. Then up the line is Tough Guard. That's probably why it's got the name Tough. And uh, they're both uh, 36 14 So I wanted to get this right. Now the Extra Guard is supposedly a good up to 10,000 miles in protection or 16,000 kilometers. And uh, both made in the USA. I'm not really sure if you should use it for 10,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers, but that's not for me to really say. That's up to you if you want to do that or not. And, oh, the Tough Guard is uh, good for 15,000 miles. Up. It doesn't say up to. No, no, it doesn't on here. It just says 15,000 mile protection. Stop and go driving, hot and cold temperatures. Or 24,000 kilometers. Well, isn't that nice to know? So, just bought both of these. So, um... Let's get them out of the package here. And the main thing that we all love about Fram is that. The good old rough up, crinkle painted, ends on the Fram filters. So it's easier to grip them. But they're, I gotta say, they're not nearly as good as it once was. So there we are, the Fram and the Tough Guard. Hopefully, well, we'll see how well these go against each other. Uh, this one is 4803, the number on it. And this one is A30, oof, I don't know what that next one is, but the last two are, I think, 3-1. Got a little, uh, not stamped well on there. Uh, good old Tough Guard. You know, I just, just, I like the paint on it. I love the sparkle gray. Orange, eh, kind of, kind of, you know, people see that orange and go, ooh, you got a extra guard on there. Well, I'm not here to tell you whether you want to use it or not. I'm just here to show you the two differences of, of each of them. Now, I'm sure there's going to be differences. Well, at least I hope there is. Hopefully it's not just the gray paint. But uh, we'll take a look here. And I got me scale here. Me. There I go again, I was saying the me word. Ah. That was, ah, jeepers. Watching too much Aussie Man or something. <laughs> All right, the extra guard. 220 grams. Woo. And... Wow, there, 223 grams. So there's a, something, something a little bit extra in that uh, one right there. So we're gonna now, well, let's take a look at these. These seals, put them against each other. I used to remember these seals used to be a lot thicker. These, these don't feel very thick anymore, at least for this filter, I don't know. Maybe it's just this filter. And I can say these seals are pretty well identical. Extra guard, five grams. Five grams. Yep, I would say they're pretty well identical on that movement. So, hmm. What else can I say about these before I cut them open? Um, well, base plates look identical pretty well, don't they? They look pretty identical. What's this one have? Uh, one's got a 2C on it. Oh, man, this one. Yeah, it's got a 2C on it. This one's got a 2C here, so the base plates are identical. I can see silicone anti-drain back valve. I, I think that's a good thing in these filters. A silicone anti-drain back valve. That actually helps quite a bit. 
and, and it not drying out or getting hard or you know it just it just works better all right well i guess i should cut these two open um i'll do that and then come back to them well there we go i got them both cut open and uh oh look at that my light came back on oh, nice uh let's take a look here well so far they're looking pretty close to being the same aren't they uh, let's see here one two three three and if you squint there's four threads um one two three four five six seven eight there's eight holes in this filter and yeah it looks uh looks pretty good it's got good weight to it it looks like they make great base plates i gotta say 111 grams and now this one is from the tough guard it's pretty well it is identical so it's got pretty well three or four there goes my light again overheated uh yeah it's identical to the extra guard it looks <sighs> 113 grams hold it here 111 what's going on here oh they cut it different depths for some reason why is that so they my cutter cut them at different depths for some reason is there a reason here why yeah they cut them huh. okay that's strange don't know why my cutter did that okay well then i guess we'll just okay but uh what do i see here looks like there was a different punch or welder used on this one then it's got different punch marks on on the tough guard here so different punch weighs a little bit more okay uh the andy greenback valve of course silicone and you know silicone's always pretty good on these i got no problem with the what was the weight of that five grams i got no problem with the any greenback valves on these and six grams what the what are these different too let's see if we can find a number on here oh there is a number but four three zero six two three that's for the extra guard And four three zero six two three on this one. It's just this one just feels different. Six grams goes on here. Six grams now. <laughs> I guess I just had to talk about it, and it became the same weight. Yeah, interesting how things work. All right. I was hoping that wouldn't come out like that. I wanted to use my flashlight, but. I don't think I can now. Now, I'm going to measure how thick the cups are. Okay, let's go with how thick these cups are. They're not that thick. I'm going to hit a right spot here. Eh, 0 0.42. Like, yeah, they're not thin, thin. 0.38 there. 0.39 there. Yeah, that's about it. 0.40 there. 0 0.39. 0 0.40. So, uh, it does seem... Probably not. They're probably the same cups. Let's see. Yeah, they feel about the same. It just, there's always going to be imperfections in the rolled steel they use to make these cups. So, there's always going to be differences. But, uh, pretty well, they, they're about the same. So, hmm, there we go. 
Now, what about these? You know, I'm going to do a light test on here. Some of these shine through. And I don't know if you can see anything bad terribly of it coming through like this one doesn't stick on there. That could be a problem. Just hold it there. Yeah, that's not gonna work out as well as I hoped it would. Um, well, no, I thought this was open on the ends here, but it's not. It's glued right there. Uh, glued right here. Oh. Oh. The tough guard. It is open right here. It's open there. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to say that's a huge problem, but it could be. So it is open on the end, but... This is, well, who knows. Um, this one is well covered through here. This is the extra guard. And, yeah, it's kind of open here too on the extra guard if you can see. I don't have the best light right here, but you can see it's open there. Okay. It's not terrible. It's not great. But, well... Uh, uh, there's been worse. There has been worse. So, I'm pretty sure these uh, bypass valves are the same. 10 grams. 11 grams. Oh, so slight differences? No. Can't be slight differences. Both have the same pressures. 11. Uh, hmm, 10. Didn't think there'd be differences. Probably a slight difference in the metal, too, for that. Now, the extra guard. Uh, some of these gaps in here are uh, disturbing in the way this thing is put together. It could use better quality control, but overall, it looks like it's glued pretty good to the pressed uh, fiber board. Press fiber board, yep. <laughs> Not gonna see anything. Press fiber board, they've been using it for years. People like it. Oh, this thing has quite a few pleats in it. Wow. And uh, of course it widens out here, because oh, why, why, why could we have good quality control for that, right? Uh, does look, um, it uses a different type here. I think it's a cellulose glass with fiber or something in it. This one is cellulose, obviously. It might have some glass in it. And, well, I guess I'm going to count the pleats up of both of them and see what we got there. So, for the extra guard, there's only 40 pleats. And as you can see, how they are, they're mm, pretty all over the place. Now, for the tough guard, there's 45 pleats. And yeah, they look good through here, through here. Then they get wider, but you know, overall, they don't look too bad through there. It, it seems to be okay. And it, it looks fine. So, this one does have five more pleats than the extra guard. And, well, let me cut off. The filtration and we'll take a good look at uh, how long that is and uh, maybe a rip test uh, checking them out to see because they, they are definitely different filtration types in each of these so as you can see when they're together here definitely different types so some sort of resin in this one I can see maybe uh, some sort of fiber I don't know it, it's it's interesting. So there we go. Here is the uh, extra guard. I, tell you, I really hate cutting these things apart because it's just there's no stability to cutting these. This this thing is just flopping all over the place when you're cutting these. 
it, it's pretty brutal. The metal ones are so much more stable. And uh, that's not to say anything about these and just saying I hate cutting them apart because I always think I'm going to cut my finger off. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, it's well glued in, I gotta admit that. It is pretty glued in good. I just don't know why they continue to use the fiberboard ends. I guess it's just a thing they do. Now, uh, these two types are different. Like they have different filtration. This is the, uh, this is the one from Tough Guard. And it's quite a bit thicker. I gotta say, it is quite a bit thicker than, than the Extra Guard. Like this one does do, it probably does a great, it, it, they both probably do a great job of filtration. This is some pretty good filtration paper, I gotta admit. Oh yeah, and the tubes they use are pretty cheap and they're flimsy and they break and, yeah. I've never seen one crushed in an engine yet though. I must say, it's just, um, I, I sometimes crush them when I'm cutting them apart. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is, uh, Filtration, and it looks like it'll do a do job, and this one, the Tough Guard is definitely different than the Extra Guard, but uh, I, I myself wouldn't uh, trust them in an engine as long as they say, that's just me. I'm not telling you that you should or can, I'm just telling you I just don't leave a filter in that long, so. Um, Looks fine. Maybe I'll measure these out and see what we got here. So, uh, for the extra grid, I got 45 inches or 114 centimeters. Two inches the width or five centimeters. And for the tough guard, uh, 50 inches or 127 centimeters uh, with two inch and five centimeters width there. So there you go. I think I pretty well looked at them pretty mostly. Oops. Dropping things all over the place here. I know I can't measure. Um, it's just about impossible for me to measure this and get it right. Yeah, I need a special tool for this to measure. Oh, it is a bit thicker. I'll just say that. Um, thicker for the tough guard for that uh, filtration than the extra guard. Now, the tough guard is $5 more than the extra guard. Um, better filtration, bit more filtration, uh, all in whole. The whole rest of it seems like it's identical. You just get better filtration for that extra five dollars than over the extra guard. So, is it worth it? I don't know. And I certainly wouldn't take this to twenty-four thousand kilometers or how many miles was that again? That was quite a few miles. It's on there. Fifteen thousand miles. I would not take it that far since. Walter there had used his mobile one filter for up to 23,000 and uh, it did not look good afterwards. I wouldn't take either of these to, I just do them standard oil change, take them that far if I was ever going to use one, which I probably would not. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, well, I'll bring you more in the future.